been arrested for the shooting of four people in Liberty City. They walked out of jail this afternoon on charges connected to that shooting, dropped nearly 24 hours after Miami police admitted to this major mistake. CBS 4's Peter Dench is live tonight in Liberty City with details. Peter. Well, Ruta Bay, the two men were released from jail after surveillance tape from a supermarket backed up an alibi claim from Anthony Clinch that he was shopping with his mother. They both live right here at this home in northwest Miami-Dade. Now, there's still questions about the other man in this case. We saw both of them as they were released from jail. That's how you hate them. Excitement as Anthony Clinch and Yernes Bryant are released from the TGK Correctional Center. Bryant's daughter and girlfriend greet him with balloons and hugs. Neither man nor their loved ones want to say anything. I want to talk to the camera. After an embarrassing turn of events, an apology by Miami Police Chief George Kalina. Hours after he and the mayor stood side by side Monday, touting the big break in a quadruple shooting and double murder. We were able to see that. Mr. Clinch was not involved in this crime, and so we're, we're going to do what's right. The 19-year-old Clinch and 21-year-old Bryant were charged with first-degree murder for last month's Liberty City gunfire that killed 17-year-old Northwestern High honor student Kimson Green and 18-year-old Ricky Dixon and injured two others. Days after being jailed, police announced both men would be let go. I'm not going to have a scenario where I have someone potentially sitting in jail who didn't commit a crime. We're, we're, that's not the way that we function here, and so I'm not going to allow that. We have to do what's proper. But Clinch had an airtight alibi. From the beginning, he told police he was shopping with his mother at this Fresco Ima supermarket in Hialeah at the time of the shooting. Surveillance cameras supported his story. It's not clear why Bryant was released. Our news partner at the Miami Herald says detectives still believe Bryant was involved. We called Miami police, but they could not say what investigators have. Why are you so convinced your son is innocent? I spoke with Brian's father before we discovered his son would be set free. These years, he's not raised up like that. And that's all I have to say. Attorney David Weinstein, a former prosecutor, was surprised it took so long to release Bryant and Clinch. They've been in and out a number of times, but neither one of them had any holds that was pending. So without a hold that's pending, they should have been immediately released. Now, Miami police have suspended their search for a third suspect in this case. Meanwhile, Miami Mayor Francis Suarez has issued an apology. Coming up at 6 in just one hour, we'll hear from him. Plus, we will also have an exclusive interview with a cousin of Clinch who is very concerned about what happened in this case. We're live in Northwest Miami. Dade, Peter Dench, CBS 4 News. Peter, thank you. And we have much more on this story and how it's unfolded over the last four days on our website, cbsmiami.com.